we're going to focus on self GPT today. And we're going to show you what it does. Basically, yeah, so it's a context aware AI sales agent. Uh, what does uh, context aware mean? Uh, it means that it can uh, basically uh, uh, autonomously interact with uh, potential leads, uh, clients, uh, users, and it can analyze uh, in which stage the conversation is, is in right now. And based on that, it can autonomously make decisions uh, of uh, how to adjust the behavior, the conversation uh, to, uh, uh, to efficiently get to the, uh, to the end goal. And this is the flow basically. Um, so every time it uh, gets the uh, input uh, from the user, uh, it will uh, trigger um, in the back end uh, this, uh, this tab where it's going to analyze which uh, stage of the conversation is right now. Is it the uh, origination or is it the uh, closing part and it will then act accordingly. Uh, there are a few other very interesting uh, aspects to it. Uh, We're currently working also on connecting it with Pinecone. Uh, that feature will be rolled out next week. So imagine you have a bunch of information about your company and uh, even statistical data and so on. You can push it to, to the memory of the agent and it's going to use, uh, use it for uh, additionally for, for its context. Um, so this is, a, this is the uh, unique part of it. And uh, there, you can imagine there are a bunch of use cases uh, that you can apply this agent to. For example, automating the outbound sales calls. So we're working also on giving it a voice capability so it can uh, autonomously talk and chat with your leads and try to close them. And we're super excited what, what the outcome of that would be. Um, uh, so uh, really interesting. Uh, yeah, it can also, we can also imagine many other things that it can do. It can interact with tools also like uh, calendars and schedule uh, meetings uh, on its own. Uh, so since it's collecting uh, tons of a bunch of data, so uh, the capability uh, the ability of uh, analyzing this data is also super interesting feature uh, that we're looking into and lead nurturing and follow-ups it can maybe do follow-up calls and uh, uh, yeah customer support so yeah many many applications possible um, what's the what's the next step after that we're the general vision is, uh, as I showed you here, uh, we want to build uh, different types of agents which real, with real added value, real use cases, and each with unique capabilities. And each would be able to do different stuff here, just like you see here. And imagine them also interacting as a, uh, with each other as a team and uh, using synergies and uh, looking and working towards uh, a common goal of uh, adding real value to your business. Setup. So this is the main uh, vision behind it. And we already started working on it and uh, have pretty interesting results. And we're excited to show that and share with you also uh, in near future. Um, so how does Uh, how does the um, customization part work? Uh, I'm going to show you in the tool how it exactly can be implemented. Uh, but uh, yeah, so basically you can uh, customize the template or configurations. And with the next iteration, you'll be also able to assign tools. Right now, you can only use tools for our zero agent, but we're also going to enable that uh, uh, also for the sales agent. 
and what the next uh, for the next week hopefully for the part two we're going to show you how to integrate uh, we're rolling out the widget uh, working on voice uh, capability uh, pinecone uh, retrieval and lead capturing also uh, we're uh, pretty uh, advanced with that feature uh, so it will be able to interact with leads and capitalize leads and do all this uh, sales process uh, uh, on, it, on itself. Uh, okay, so let's go into the tool now. If you go here and uh, select this one, uh, there are three steps of setting it up. So you can give a name to your uh, agent and the sales, the agent's role, business development representative, for example, just like a, you know, business card, right? Uh, you can give, uh, you can have multiple client IDs, and based on these IDs, it uh, it knows uh, which uh, client uh, it's interacting with, right? And uh, applies, uh, you know individual behavior and individual conversational memory uh, to this uh, uh, conversation with this client. So let's say something like this, or maybe this. So a company name, and you can include here company business uh, description, company values, right? Uh, like what are the main values and so on. and uh yeah providing uh, highest value to our customers and so on and it's going to use this uh, during the conversation um now the third part is a bit more uh, lengthy uh let's say this is a call and the purpose is uh find out whether uh, customers are looking for uh mattresses right or you can even say uh, sell a mattress or whatever the goal is. Uh, and then you have the stages. Uh, this is the uh, context awareness part that we discussed. Uh, you can define the stages of the uh, deal or of sales, and it will uh, automatically decide which uh, stage is right now and is going to adjust the behavior accordingly, right? So we have introduction, qualification, and the last part is closing. So we created it. Now we have everything here. Uh, if you want to adjust anything, uh, you can do that. Uh, these are the endpoints. So uh, we are working on a few final things uh, with the endpoints, and uh, you'll be able to basically integrate your app and uh, with the version two uh, you'll also be able to use the widget and simply copy paste into your app and uh, you'll, you'll have your own personal sales agent in your app uh, and here are the api logs uh, just like for other agents where you can log and uh, track all your api calls or your users api calls um, and let's ask a question Yeah. Yeah. So let's see if it can actually um, sell us a mattress, or you can also put some other product here. Uh, hey, da, 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 da. chat about how we can achieve that. Yeah. Uh, So it's uh, usually uh, quicker, as mentioned, we have some issues with the server today. I understand, but uh, you can know that we offer a high range of uh, high quality mattresses, pillows, so it's 
kind of trying to convince me, right? So the, this one was initiation. This is probably the presentation stage, and and so on and so on. And it it doesn't get tired. It's it doesn't have really feelings. So it's gonna try to uh, sell you a mattress, uh, no matter what, if, if you want that. Okay. Uh, uh, first, thanks for having us. Uh, that's a great tool. Um, I would like to have uh, agents uh, who could uh, analyze some uh, scientific publications and make some, um, uh, how do you say, uh, uh, comparisons and uh, maybe calculations with uh, like with uh, Wolfram uh, plugins, that kind of stuff, um, and to um, uh, compare, evaluate like uh, in a positive, or not in a positive or a negative way, but uh, on on certain uh, characteristics we, we could define. Um, uh, I think about uh, uh, um, uh, climate change and mitigations and evaluating some innovations in a way that are good for adaptation or attenuation or a bad, uh, evaluate as a bad uh, a direction to go. And uh, it will be compared with uh, lots of different publications and to have a first approach of um, evaluating actions, basically. That, that would be my first wish, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big wish. Yeah. Yes, I, I know. That's not, yeah. But, it's, yeah. It's like a research assistant that can do some uh, classification, summarization. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Albert, sorry, I was cutting you. No, no, yeah. no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Totally, yeah, that's a big wish, but it's uh, actually something that's uh, it's on our roadmap. Um, uh, look, for example, you have these agents, right? So, so the idea to have uh, a broader, uh, you know, broader uh, categories of agents, and each of them can interact with specific stuff and can specialize on uh, specific things. Like, for example, if you use like zero shot, for uh, different, uh, very specific use cases, it's going to perform okay, but it's not going to uh, be, uh, uh, it's not going to give like really good results. It's not going to do a targeted job, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, for that, you need to create very, uh, very specific uh, uh, agents with, with very specific capabilities Let's say in your case, it, it should be a, an agent uh, who can really work well with uh, data, uh, which can interact with, uh, uh, you know, and understand uh, like data based libraries like pandas, pandas libraries. It can probably should be able to analyze CSV data well sure. and uh, read through big reports and documents and uh, also present it uh, properly, right? So it needs to be really uh, adjusted to, to being a really good data scientist, right? It's like you have to run the agent through educational university, university right? Like it's, yes. It's I, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. And to complete, uh, is it possible at the moment uh, that we have, uh, we can set like multiple agents Mm -hmm. And I think I am going to uh, make them discuss together on different yeah. tasks. And but at the moment, with the subscription, yeah. you can have multiple. Uh, it's not limited in terms of agents and or yeah, yeah uh, exactly. So that's also so, give me one second. It's also something we're working on. We're actually pretty uh, close to rolling out uh, version one. Great. With uh, different agents, which are also able to interact with each other, and you can kind of create a team of agents. Uh, was that your question? Or? Yes, yes, yeah. But at the moment, you can't have with the subscription. You can't have different agents, or you can have any 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 agent, any numbers of agents, or uh, but you want. Yeah, I think on this with this subscription you can have uh, up to three agents. I think okay. at the same time, uh, 
I'll have a look, but uh, we also have the, like we have two paid tiers. One, the first paid tier is you get access to agents and you can use uh, three agents simultaneously. And the highest uh, tier, I think there are no limitations at all on, on anything. So it's the advanced subscription, the level two or three, sorry. Okay, right. okay, I get that today, oh. don't worry. <laughs> Yeah, awesome. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for the question. Uh, tool, context, and important details from a PDF and put it into a short form. Yeah, exactly. So that's the idea, and that should be possible uh, with, with an LA agent. Um, no, with the sales agent, you can actually. Uh, so let's say, let's take the document QA. It's connected to the Pinecone, right? And uh, here, this is the long-term memory storage for this uh, chatbot. And we are currently connecting, uh, implementing the same feature for the sales agent. And if you wanna, uh, if you want to inject, like give information from PDF or other files uh, for context, uh, to use as context during uh, the conversations, you will be able to do that. This feature, is almost ready. We will uh, launch it next week. I think that was the question, right? Uh, Francis, yeah, uh, unmute yeah. Francis to ask his question. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hi, Albert. Uh, yeah. I just want to ask a question. We are actually using Bubble to develop a lot of app for clients. I think one of the powerful thing that we are looking at is that if we can able to integrate any AI agents that talk to the bubble database to get some contact to get some information that would be great you know i mean because it's dynamic yeah so is there uh, any development or any roadmap into that yeah absolutely talking to a database definitely on, on your roadmap so um we have the bubble plugin i don't know if you uh had the chance to have a look at it um, yep. You cannot connect it to the database, uh, but uh, it's something that we will also include uh, soon, probably, so that you connect to your database and it can use the data. Uh, yeah. Uh, how will the sales GPT handle complex tasks that may require multi step problem solving? And do you envision the possibility of creating an overarching meta GPT agent that can orchestrate and delegate tasks to other specialized agents? Yeah, uh, Paul, we already have that on our roadmap. We call it yeah. agent teams, uh, and it's going to do exactly that. Yeah, exactly. And agent teams, it also involves a meta agent who's going to coordinate, orchest or orchestrate the team, kind of, and uh, lead in the right direction. Uh, and uh, so that they can, they are able to solve uh, complex uh, problems. and. Uh, so, super excited to see what the outcome is. Uh, it's it's probably the main feature our dev team is working on right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this is uh, yeah what we had in mind to present uh, to you today. Uh, otherwise, we're always reachable. You can drop a message in intercom, or you can uh, send us an email, or via Twitter and, and we'll be happy to, to help you and answer any questions you have. If you have any specific use cases, which we are not covering, we would also be happy to have a look at your use case and uh, potentially take uh, on our roadmap. Yeah.